Hello fans and friends, I'm God of War. Due to the rarity of God of War Boy being in Williamsburg, he did not record from home that he originally intended. 2024 was the year he wanted to focus on doing things he very rarely has done before. During his YouTube break, he worked on Easter videos and will be available on YouTube. Did you miss God of War Boy for a week? Well, he's back. It's Easter, and now he's back from spring break. His Easter videos will feature Japanese-themed video game music. He chose this to not only celebrate Easter after his 33rd birthday to inspire, but to celebrate spring in the best way possible. While it's unfortunate that he couldn't get St. Patrick's Day videos on March 17th, be grateful that he uploaded two videos on weekday. One of them barely made. Anyways, he's glad to be back on YouTube. One of his Easter videos will feature a Smash Fest covering the three winners from his 29th birthday special. One of them will win the title of Spring Theme Video Game Nostalgia Smash Fest Champion. The other one is the Easter Greetings card. For the Easter Greetings card, he will explain why March 31st is his favorite Easter. He also blessed those born on March 17th and today one. That's because this will be their fourth time they will get to celebrate Easter two weeks after their birthday. Not only that, it's an exclusive leap year of one. Well, that's all I have to say about what's going on with Bob Fork Boy right now. I will see you in a greetings card video. My Pokemon counterpart will cover the 2024 Easter Spring themed video game Nostalgia Smash Fest. Later on in the Smash Fest video, you will hear God of War Boy's voice. Until we meet again, Golf Force says goodbye from Golf for Boys Chat. God bless you all and have a happy Easter. Happy Easter from God of War. This March 31st will be a special Easter. Why, you may ask? It will be the only time in the 21st century that Easter falls on a leap year on this date. The last time Easter was celebrated on March 31st was in 2013, an inauguration year. Interestingly, the 20th century was the only one where Easter on March 31st did not coincide with the leap year. The previous leap year, Easter on March 31st, occurred in 1872. The first was in 1720. From this pattern, it seems that a leap year Easter on March 31st has occurred every 152 years since 48 AD. For most of us, this will be the only time we'll celebrate Easter on March 31st during a leap year. The next occurrence of this rare event will be in 2086. And the following leap year, Easter on this date will be in 2176. Sadly, many of us won't be here to see it. But let's focus on the main reason we celebrate Easter. Easter is celebrated because it marks the resurrection of Jesus. It symbolizes the rebirth of Jesus. What's important about Easter is that it's a time to feel grateful for Jesus' resurrection on the third day, celebrating his rebirth. And now, here's an Easter prayer. O oh Jesus, by your death and resurrection, you conquered sin and death. 
and gave us the assurance of our own future resurrection. Grant by your infinite merits that we may be strengthened in the trials of this life and filled with hope to share in the glory of the life to come. Additionally, let us pray for those born on March 17, 1991, that they may find comfort, guidance, and blessings in their journey. May their lives be touched by the grace of Easter, and may they experience the joy of redemption and renewal. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. I made this video to mark the rarity of this year's Easter. In fact, this will be the only chance on the leap year that I will get to upload an Easter video on March 31st. To all of the people celebrating Easter on March 31st, 2024, I feel happy for you. Until we meet again, this is God for saying goodbye from God for Voice Channel. God bless you all and have a happy Easter. Today is Easter Sunday, so it's time for an Easter-themed nostalgic video game Smash Fest. All the winners from Gargoyle Boy's 29th birthday special have returned for a Smash Fest to celebrate the unique occurrence in the 21st century of the March 31st week year Easter. Here are today's Smash Fest contestants. Honoring Lip from Panel de Pone, he has become the ultimate Smash King of this channel, following his Super Smash Bros. 25th Anniversary Smash Fest victory. After his second win in the second Amiibo Tag Team Tournament, he now ranks among the top 3 event tournament fighters on this channel. Dark Pit regulated to a mere shadow point of pit and a source of amusement, this fighter's charm and grace are unparalleled. Thanks to this Mii's portrayal of Flip, the character's identity has become clear and he remains the best male fighter on this channel. As one of the two flower power fighters and the only male in that category, he stands out. The only male in Super Smash Bros. history to adopt the feminine play style, here's Me Sword Fighter. She's the top fighter, nearly unbeatable in combat. With numerous event tournament victories and two ultimate champion wins, she's determined to outmatch Peach regardless of her overall ranking. This tomboyish flower-themed semi of Peach has embraced and adapted Peach's fighting style, infusing it with a floral twist. As the sole Echo Fighter copying her counterpart's moves, she faced mockery for her similarity. Her resolution to defeat Peach will shed the derision for being regulated to spin-offs, playing second fiddle to Peach, and being labeled as merely a reskin of both Peach and the Sailor. Tired of the scorn that's muddled her identity since her initial video game appearances, and the 90s identity crisis sparked by comparisons to Peach, she's eager for gamers to leave the past behind. They need to conquer Peach and silence any ridicule over her lack of originality. Here's Princess Daisy. 
as the undeniable Nintendo heroine and the Barbie girl of the Mario crowd, Princess Peach stands as a formidable figure who remains a rival in video game appearances, embodying the undeniable girly girl in the game world. Although frequently captured by Bowser in the main Mario series, she has won against Zelda in an early death battle and emerged victorious in both battles in the Melee and Brawl All-Star Veterans Day 2022 tournament. Her active role in numerous games has helped her combat skills and ability. Despite being eclipsed by Daisy in the Veterans Day Ultimate Smash event, she proudly holds the title of the only original female fighter to become champion of a Veterans Day tournament. She is the irreplaceable original Nintendo Princess. The most beloved and feminine princess in gaming Here's Princess Peach. Each fighter has three lives, three strikes, and they're out. The first fighter to win five battles will become the 2024 Easter Video Game Smash Best Champion. If you're all set, then here we go. Get ready for this year's Ultimate Easter Video Game Smash Best. As we begin this final battle, three graceful Smash Fighters enter the battlefield. Battle one. Sword Fighter. For Peach. Yeah! 
Daisy. Strike two for me, Sword Fighter. Fighter wins battle one, but that victory was just the beginning. Three, two, one, go! Strike one for Daisy. Strike one for me, Sword Fighter. Strike two for Peach. Strike two for Daisy.
Strike three. Peach loses. Fighter. Strike one for Daisy. Strike one for Peach. for Pete. Strike two for Daisy.
Sword Fighter wins Battle 3. He needs two more victories to win. Three, two, one, go! One for me, Sword Fighter. Strike one for Daisy. Strike two for Peach. Strike two for Daisy. Strike one for me, Sword Fighter. With four battle victories, Me Sword Fighter needs one more to win.
Sword Fighter. Strike one for Daisy. Fighter. Strike two for Daisy.
Game over. Lee Swerfar becomes the Easter Smash Fest champion. Me Sword Fighters, the name, Charm and Grace was his game. Robert Boy and I will talk about it. Unfortunately for Peach and Daisy, they fought the same and didn't stand a chance against Me Sword Fighters' unpredictability. Me Sword Fighter fought gracefully and didn't mess around with his flamboyant playstyle. As shown here, it will take more than a woman's charm, grace, and elegance to take down a man with a feminine playstyle. To be honest, the player had a 33rd birthday two weeks ago at the time of this video, so it's fitting to see Me Sword Fighter play on the green team and win. With a different set of moves available to him, the Sword Fighter had plenty of skills that were enough to take down the two princesses in battle. Daisy and Peach aren't considered weak princesses per se, but Me Sword Fighter's elegant fighting style and good looking appearance were too much for the two Nintendo girls to handle. Me Sword Fighter's victory wasn't a peach of cake. But at least Daisy wasn't a sword loser. Me Sword Fighter wins. Oh, you lost. I'm sorry, Peach. You really get overshadowed by Daisy. But it seemed inevitable that it would happen one day. It's a shame that you had to lose to Daisy in two Smash Fests. It's truly upsetting to see them like this. What a shame, Peach. What a shame. Daisy, securing second place is nothing to be sad of. For once in your lifetime, you finally got out of Peach's shadow and you have the right to call yourself a beauty queen. It was incorrect for gamers to dismiss you as merely a Peach imitation. Now it's clear that you were designed to be a tomboyish semi-clone of Peach. They regret the derision and mockery you have endured in the 90s due to confusion with Peach. The deception lay in your similar hair length and your initial portrayal as a flower-themed double of Peach in your early video game appearances. They also apologized for underestimating your strength as tough princesses were not as common then as they are today. Make no mistake, you are the beauty queen. It's ended, but it feels strange. I'm not saddened by your defeat. Instead, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the incredible talents of an amazing and graceful Smash Brothers champion. The Smash Brothers King is here! Let's go! They weren't kidding when they said your charm and grace was unmatched. As the sole male with flower power, your feminine play style was incredible. Daisy and Peach were great rivals. You have worked hard ever since I first played you when I first got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For me, Sword Fighter, you have made me a happy man. Congratulations on becoming Easter Smash Fest Champion. Over to you, God of War. Thanks, God of War, boy. I'm sorry neither of the Nintendo princesses didn't win, but try to respect me, Sword Fighter, for getting this far and winning. Congratulations to me, Sword Fighter, for becoming the Easter Smash Best Champion. 
Thank you for celebrating this once-in-a-lifetime event on March 31st. I'm grateful to Garfor Boy for hosting this Easter special. From Garfor Boy's channel, this is Garfor signing off. Happy Easter, everybody! Ha! April fooled you! Unlike previous videos, this video was recorded from home. He had one more Easter video in store for you all. As 2024 will be the only year Gobble Boy got to celebrate a leap year Easter on March 31st, he had to do a bonus video for you all. This will be the only time on Easter you will get to see a Tag Team Mario Brothers Battle Royale. Yellow Team will be Team Flower Power with the Sword Fighter and Daisy. Green Team will feature Team Miss Nostalgic Kid Fighters with Pichu and Young Link. This time around, the battle music will play a Japanese themed video game song instead of the normal boss music from the International Super Mario Bros. Rules will follow the Mario Bros. multiplayer battle mode in the 16-bit version of Super Mario Bros. 3 and the Super Mario Advance games. For the commentary, Gogo Boy will cover the battle. Unlike previous Smash Bros. Mario Bros. Battle Royale battles, this will be a tag team match. I promise that this will be Gobble Boy's final Easter video. Enjoy! Who will win the battle? Team Flower Power or Team Miss Nostalgic Kid Fighter?
What a great way to end Easter. Team Flower Power defeating Team Miss Nostalgia Kid Fighters. As we set the sun from Easter to April Fools, I just want to say, what an awesome Easter. Normally, the Smash Fest was going to be Goggle Boy's final video. He changed his mind because 2024 was the only opportunity he got to celebrate a March 31st Leap Year Easter. He didn't want this special moment to go to waste. I hope you all had an incredible Easter. Goggle Boy is done for Easter videos. Having a 33rd birthday two weeks before Easter is an accomplishment March 17, 1991 birthday should be proud of. Go rest up after making four videos for the last quarter of March. Until we meet again, Godfrey says goodbye from Godfrey Boy's channel. God bless you all and have a happy Easter.